total issues. Does that even make sense? That makes no sense. I'm having some issues this morning with my hands. <laughs> Um, I'm getting ready to go out in my garage and kick some cardio ass. Um, and I just got back from my trip last night. I was out in uh, LA, which I'm going to give you a little peek at what that was all about. It's my lip balm. Look, it's right here. I've been using this stuff since I was like in fifth grade, people. And I really don't understand why it is so difficult to buy this. Like, I think I get it at Walmart, but you know, they don't have all the flavors that they make. It's just not as easy to get the flavors that I want. Anyway, um, also I'm wearing a, cause it's chilly, of course, it's Chicago, where I will not be much longer. Um, but I forgot I had these shirts. I got these from Jenny Lynn way back in the day. Um, can you see the bling? I don't think there's anything on the back. Oh, there it is. Um, so I have, you know, workout shirt on. Ah, uh, why can I not talk today? Workout shirt on underneath. And then this, it's really nice and thin and stretchy. Um, cause I'm going to go out in the garage and do some work. You see that? I just hit myself and that was not pleasurable. Um, and I'm not going to lie, you guys. So, you, we always make fun of me because I have this thing about things matching and whatever. So, I didn't put this on at first. I just put on black pants and then I've got my black tank top on. Um, and so, the shoes that I put on... <laughs> oh, I was just standing on my tiptoes a little too long. They're these ones. The, uh, these are the Reeboks. That are the like neon blue and um, yellow. So of course, I put this top on and I'm walking around. I'm here in my house by myself going, oh, now my top doesn't match my shoes. <laughs> at least I'm admitting it. Do I actually think people stare at this? And Jamie, Jamie was the one that was like, Kelly, you need to get over things that, you know, they, they're not supposed to match. They don't have to match. And I'm getting over that, but I still, I don't know. I really, I don't even know if anybody makes purple shoes. Probably Nike. <laughs> Did I just have an attitude when I said that? Anyway, um, so I almost said it's Monday. It is not Monday. Um, I'm tired, a little jet lagged. And the only reason I say I feel jet lagged today is usually if I'm gonna go out to LA or somewhere on the West Coast, um, oh, I have to reschedule my hair appointment too. Um, I, uh, if I'm going to go out to the West Coast, I usually try to make like a whole week of it, have appointments while I'm out there. Well, this was fly out to LA Monday, get there Monday afternoon, um, and it's a four hour flight. So I get there Monday afternoon, did some work Monday night, Tuesday we had the event, um, Tuesday night, and then basically the limo took us back to the airport at um, 11.30 the next morning and by the time I got home last night with the delays in Chicago it was like 10. So you know two time zones in like 48 hours. For me it's draining. Um, but anyway I'm getting ready to um, go out and do my workout. It's today's Thursday, sorry. Um, today's Thursday. And here's the deal. I did, I'm gonna give myself a C minus on how I did on my trip. Um, Cause I got out there Monday. I gotta change this song. It's not, I'm not feeling it this morning. I'm just not ready for Nine Inch Nails right now. Um, so, where's my coffee? Um, <laughs> I'm already at five minutes. Have I even made one point? I probably not. Um, I'm going to give myself a C minus for my workout while I was out there. And sometimes I give myself a little, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a pass. Um, I got out there on Monday and Aunt Flo shows up. I told you guys I've really been having 
She's just showing up at all times. Welcome to hormonalimbalance.com. Um, so, I mean, that was like, are you kidding me? I have to go look them on the calendar. But that was not expected. And of course, then I had migraines and all of this. And so I was like, are you kidding? Um, so I didn't, I, I really don't think I had planned. Yeah, I did. I brought out my workout clothes to work out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But I didn't work out that night. I went to bed really early. In fact, I didn't go to the dinner that they had Monday night um, because I was just so drained from the regular, the travel and then that, which had just happened two weeks ago. Um, went to bed, got up early, and then um, I needed to be downstairs at a breakfast at like 8.30. So I thought, okay, I'll do my workout late morning, whatever. Well, then we had this event. I found out it was going to be a little bit more, I don't want to say formal, but I thought it was going to be more casual as far as what we were wearing. And everybody else was like, oh, I'm going to wear a dress. And I'm thinking, oh, crap. I'm going to have to, like, wear this outfit I didn't think I was going to have to wear, which entailed me needing to wear my open-toed shoes. My toes were not quite toe showing ready. So I had to run over to the mall. You might think you're going, really, Kelly? You had to run over to the mall and get your um, toes done? Yes, I did. I would not wear open-toed shoes to an event that's kind of important <laughs> with on pedicured toes. So I had to run over there and get that. Um, and then of course I had to go to Target and get some products for my friend on flow um, and some headache medicine. <laughs> I sound like such a downer. And then I bought, you might have seen on my Instagram, I bought some food for the room because there was a, um, there was a uh, refrigerator there. Looks like someone got pulled over out there. That's not really a road back there. Anyway, sorry. Um, so I bought some, uh, oh, I think I might actually have it here, hold on. Um, you know, stuff to keep in the room because the thing is, even when I'm in the room and, uh, I, I think for some reason, like when I travel, I feel like my hunger pangs or my hunger just is three times what it normally is. Maybe it's just that you're in an unnormal, um, environment and you think about food more often. But anyway, so I bought some of this. And these, this was actually not that bad. So there's all kinds of, like Starkist has all these different kinds of um, tuna snacky things to go. But I only wanted to have albacore tuna. I don't like the dark tuna. That's what, when we were growing up, my mom would always make tuna salad. And she used the non-albacore. God bless mom. But then I tried albacore tuna with my, I think it was my sister-in-law. Um, and she made it once. And I was like... Oh, my whole world of tuna has changed. So I only want to have, for me, my taste, I only like um, albacore tuna. And then this is, so there's like packs that have just the tuna in it, which I've eaten just tuna, but this has, these are 90 calories and 10 grams of protein. Um, so, and it actually has like the light mayo in it or whatever. It was good. It was, I have to say, it's it's a little weird to open this up and be having, of course now my mom's coming me back, hold on. It's a little weird too. Hey, can I call you back at home in like three minutes and just finishing my video? I'll call you back. Oh, a little dessert, disturbed. Um, it was just a little weird to have this room temp. I think next time I do this, I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? Like there's certain things that when you have the room temperature, you're like, like, did you ever, when you were growing up, have your mom make you an egg salad sandwich? And you took it to school and you're like, she's not. So, um, anyway, came back from the store and then um, we had to all go back and meet for lunch, the group. Um, and then we came back, good God, I'm at 10 minutes. I haven't even mentioned the whole why I was out there. But today, this is not a specific video on that. I'll do that later. I just wanted to give you a preview. This is a little, hold on. Um, so anyway, I think we we had to all meet for lunch. I did some work back in my, my room, and then all of a sudden I look up and it's one o'clock, um, and we all ended up going to lunch at two, I think maybe even 2.30, and then we went for a walk around the mall because um, I had a big steak salad, and I may or may not have had some biscuits that they served at this amazing like barbecue rib place. 
um, so we did a walk around and then by that time they wanted to do a little shopping and I'm like I need to get some kind of workout in. like if I don't get my blood flowing and my muscles moving I'm just gonna feel like a lethargic freak and I don't know about you guys but the thing is is I've always said this what you've done the day before is what you're gonna tend to want to mentally slide into the next day and I'm like, I've got to do something or my body's going to get into that whole like, oh, I haven't worked out yesterday. I should take it easy today and start on Monday thing. No. So I went back to my room. I set up my TRX. I got out my resistance bands, my valve slides, whatever. And by the time I set that up, we had to be ready at 630. I think it was five o'clock. I knew that whatever it was, <clears throat> I had an hour and a half total. And that meant I had an hour and a half to do a workout, to get a shower, do my, you know, wash my hair, dry my hair, um, whatever. And I knew I couldn't be late. So I think what I ended up doing was like 15 minutes, but I did really hard TRX. I did some, um, I pretty much did like a mini, just made up circuit for my upper body with the resistance bands. Started doing some reverse lunges with the uh, valve slides. Um, I didn't have my tennis shoes on at the moment and then my knee started to feel funny and I'm like, the last thing I need is to put my knee out of joint to go to this event. So I didn't continue with the reverse lunges. But either way, even though it was only 15 minutes, I did 15 minutes hard. Um, and just kind of feeling, you know, my muscles getting blood in them and, and feeling like I worked. It 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 just, you know, I don't know, it amped me up. It made me feel better for that night. And then we went to this event, which was for the launch of Lenovo's uh, better way, which we didn't have any idea what the product was. We just knew that it had something to do. They brought on Ashton Kutcher. He was going to be at the event speaking. <clears throat> and then we get to find out what it was. Um, so, and it was an awesome event. I'll only tell you a little bit about it today. And then my next video will have more. Wow, I really do look like I just got out of bed. Um, <clears throat> so, then the next morning, we were at this, the, the event. It started at 7. It went till 9.30. By the time we got home, it was 10.30. Um, and I was kind of hungry. I was really hungry, let me be honest, because we'd eaten lunch late in the day. I'd had a big steak salad and a couple biscuits um, with butter, I might add. Um, and then by the time we went to the event, they were serving things, you know, they were serving drinks. I had a little, like half a glass of champagne. Um, but I'm kind of one of those people. I either drink or I don't drink. I don't, I don't want to have like a couple of glasses of wine. I'm either going to drink and, and go out and celebrate and maybe the cocktails will be flowing, you know what I'm saying? But I don't want to have just a glass of wine. So I just wasn't in the mood to drink, so I kind of set my glass to the side. But they were passing all these great <clears throat> appetizers. But, you know, I also tend to avoid eating appetizers in an event like that because you never know what kind of sauces and cheeses are in there. <laughs> I have a very sensitive stomach. I inherited that from my dad. So I avoid eating anything that's potentially going to have a mystery sauce in it that would give me a stomach ache where I'm like, nice to meet you. You know, <clears throat> that kind of thing. So I had, by the end of the night, we grabbed these little sliders. They had little burgers and we were all really hungry. So I had one of those. By the time we got back to the hotel, I was so hungry and I was fantasizing about getting like this a cheeseburger at the hotel. I just wanted something. And I was really proud of myself because I went back into my room and I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, room service is open. I can order this or let me think about what I really want to be doing with my goals. And, and is, is doing that tonight after not working out yesterday? And I just like thought it through. I'm like, yeah, you know, you're traveling and you can make an, ex you can make an exception. You could say, you're tired, you haven't eaten all day, do this. Or I can say, I've really had plenty to eat today and it's not a big deal to go to bed a little hungry. So I had an apple, I bought apples. <clears throat> I had an apple, I had this, a few nuts, and I had some of this. And I felt so much better when I woke up the next day knowing I'd made a better choice just mentally. And then again, we had to be down for the limo to get us at 11, if I'm correct. You know, and I let myself sleep in because especially sleep for me when I travel is important. Went down to the hotel gym. Um, all they had was cardio machines and free weights. They had a really good selection of free weights. So what I did is I was taking into consideration what Mark usually has me do. And I kind of took a mini version of that because I didn't have my foam roller. I didn't have any of my stretching bands. I didn't have my tennis balls, so I couldn't do my, um, you know, myofascial release stretching to begin with. But I took 
Um, I did as much stretching similarly as I could. And then I took a um, 35 pound dumbbell and I did the uh, curtsy, um, curtsy lunges back and forth. I'm trying to think of what I did. In, and then I did um, overhead press, one, one arm at a time with 20 pounds. Um, that was one of my circuits. And then the other one I did a step up on the bench and um, did I do squats? God, I can't even remember what I did. Anyway, I just do some, oh, uh, step up on the bench and then uh, one armed row with a 35 pound. Um, and I didn't have the chance to really do three of all. I think I did three of each of the first circuit and then I got to the second circuit and I was looking up at the clock and it was 1020 and I needed to be ready in 40 minutes. So I had to cut it short. But number one, I lifted heavy, I pushed hard. And the way I'm looking at it is I was gone for three days and the combination of the mini workout the day before and that mini workout the next day, I'm looking at that as maybe 75% of one workout. So I'll give myself like that was one workout. Um, my plan is to do five, um, five one hour sessions that Mark has designed for me a week. So I've got four left. Today is Thursday <clears throat> and my week mentally, my weeks go Monday to Sunday. Oh, I love this song. So I've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So if I do those four plus the one I did, then I'm kind of on plan. So that's it. I'm going to go out and do my cardio. I will tell you more about the event separately, but suffice it to say, Lenovo brought us out <clears throat> to LA for the launch of this new tablet, which is blowing my mind. Here's why. I could not stop. Oh, it's locked. I hope that I am not going to run into an issue here. Um, okay, can you see this? Can you see how I'm holding this? Let me just say something. 18 hour battery life. 18 hour battery life. Tablet. This is the 10 inch. It comes in a 10 inch and a, um, an 8 inch. So the 8 inch is even more like kind of cutesy. Um, I like big. So, um, but as you can see, Here's the thing, ergonomically designed, 18 hour battery life. Can I just keep saying that? 18 hours. You know I'm obsessed with, oh see? But I'm gonna do a separate demo. You've gotta look this up. So this is, you guys know, I did that video on the um, yoga ThinkPad they sent me, which blew my mind and was already replacing my old Toshiba laptop and my iPad, because it's the best of both worlds. Now this is strictly a tablet, but it's designed so that you can hold it like this. See this? You can hold it like this and use your thumb. Look at that. Oh. Or hold it like this. Or I'm just giving you a preview. I'm not doing a detailed thing on this now. It can tilt three different ways, right? I'll put a link up to the. Oh, you can kind of see it here. Hold mode, tilt mode, and stand mode. So you can stand it up by itself. It has the speakers in the front, not like the iPad that has the speakers in the back, which are really annoying. I was trying to listen to my iPad in the room. Um, it's a beautiful thing. And Ashton um, was very, uh, a really, he, he spoke very well. And everybody, uh, several people, I don't want to say everybody. You know, there's several people. What's Ashton Kuchu doing? Working with Lenovo. He has joined, I don't want to break that. He's joined Lenovo in product design. And some of you might not know, but um, Ashton Kutcher has been heavily involved in the tech space for a while. He's invested in several companies. So, you know, even though some people might go, oh, you know, it's just a, a face, a sponsorship, it really is not. I mean, I can't speak to the details, but he definitely is somebody who's been um, outside of his, his acting experience, heavily involved in the tech space and in, you know, um, social, social media, technology and so on so um, I you know to me I think it makes sense and it sounds like from the folks at Lenovo that he's he really is heavily involved in kind of learning and focusing on helping them develop products or giving them insight and being a part of the process that is not only um, I in my opinion it's kind of a combination of what they're doing of listening and watching the consumer to see what they need in the things that they already use but then also you know creating the new stuff but also making sure you're answering the problems with what they're using already. You know, I think about things like Windows 8. When Windows 8 came out, I felt that so many people were saying the same things, like 
did you even study what people like? You know, taking things away like the start button and all of that. Anyway, it's already a 20 minute vlog. I'm gonna shut up for today. I'm gonna go do my workout and I will talk to you guys tomorrow, okay? Have a good